This is a Quantum Edge 2.0 power chair with the 5 inch seat lift. Quantum Edge 2.0 with a 5, it may be 6 inches, 5, 6 inch seat lift. Uh, so beautiful color, uh, beautiful chair, sharp looking classy chair. Uh, this chair was used probably for about two or three months. There's no wear on it to speak of. Um, practically brand new. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to make the seat lift go up. So you would go to the joystick and you would go to the blue button and as soon as you see a picture of the seat, your seat is ready to go up, then use your joystick right here, push it back, and now you've got your seat, seat lift going up. So right now with the seat elevated all the way to the top, the front of the seat will be at 28 inches. So it's probably a six inch seat lift, okay? You can actually see the seat lift right here, the seat post. You can actually see the 14 inch wheels, solid wheels, caster wheels in the back, caster wheels in the front. You can see the anchor point very well. There's one here, one here, and you have two more. You have a total of four anchor points. This is where you would tie your chair to your lift if you had to transport this chair, okay? You have a motor for each wheel. I cannot push this chair right now, it's in gear, but if I turn the power off, the reason I turn the power off, we don't want no resistance in the motor. Put the lever down, and now you can see, you gotta do both wheels, but now we're in neutral, okay? Back in gear, you can hear it. Turn the power back on, and now I'm gonna bring the seat back down. So, so this is the six inch seat lift going back down, okay? There we go, we're gonna put it back in drive. This is a mid-wheel drive chair, so it turns around its own length. So I can go in a circle like this all day long. I can't even hear this chair, this is so quiet. You can see the suspension in the back, right here. It's adjustable. You can see the same famous suspension. This, this, this company is real famous for their suspension. Look at the suspension in front. So you have three of these heavy duty suspension on this chair. It's just a great, great suspension. This power chair has the extra large foot plate, okay? Uh, if you don't want this foot plate, it's too big, let us know, we can switch it to a smaller one. But this person who had this chair wanted a larger foot plate and it flips up if you need to exit the foot, the chair. The foot plate can also be moved back two inches. Right now it's sitting as far forward, so when it's up it would be sitting here, but you can also have it sitting here by moving this in closer to the chair. There's two batteries in this chair. They come out from the front. There's two levers in the front, here and here. They're easy to see on this chair. There's one there, one there. Squeeze them in, grab the bar right here and pull. The whole cover, the whole front end will come out and the batteries come out from the front. There's two of them. They're 55 amp batteries and uh, this is where you would replace them. You don't have to take the whole chair apart. Just take the front end off, okay? Uh, and to do that, just squeeze the handles and then pull it out. So these batteries will give you about 15 miles on a battery charge. It all depends on the weight of the user, if you're going uphill uh, and all kind of stuff like that. So the seat on this chair is 18 by 16. So this is a captain's seat. So what that means is this seat is adjustable. We can fold it down. We can go all the way up to here or you can leave it in, in driving position. So this is called a captain seat. The arms flip up and they can also go out. If you need more width, they come out from the back. Joystick is on the right. If you're left-handed, we can switch everything to the left side. No problem at all. As I said, this chair is very quiet. It turns on its own length. Also back here, you have your safety belt. You have your safety belt back in the back pocket. When you charge this chair, you'll take your quantum charger. You'll take your charger and you'll plug it right below the joystick. And as soon as the light goes from orange to green, when it turns green, it'll stop charging. So let's recap. This is a Quantum Edge 
2.0 power chair was used for a few months two to three months it has the <clears throat> six inch seat lift has the captain seat solid tires it has the famous suspension that quantum have it has the anchor point it has the larger foot plate the safety belt just a nice power chair if you just need a power chair with a seat lift this would be a really really nice one So this is the Quantum Edge 2.0 with a 6 inch seat lift. Very easy to drive. Most of these chairs are easy to drive. I mean, I can put this on speed number one. This is speed four, which is six miles an hour. This would be speed one here. So you can't get in much trouble at speed number one. So if you're learning to drive at speed number one, you're not gonna have much trouble learning how to drive it. It doesn't respond very fast. I like to put it on speed four to give you the, the full speed. This is a sharp looking power chair with a six inch seat lift with this famous suspension, the quantum suspension. This chair picks up speed in the grass, that's weird. Um, instead of losing speed, it goes faster. So this is the, uh, as I said again, I'm going to repeat myself for the third time, the Quantum 6 Edge 2.0 with the seat lift. I'm going to make the seat go up right now, 6 inches, and I think this one was at 30 inches when it was all the way up, it was 30 inches. I'm sorry, it couldn't have been 30, 28 inches. So, and if you put it back to dry, will it dry with the seat elevated? Yes. So it drives at a slower, at a, at a slower speed with the seat elevated it will drive at a slower speed so if you're looking for a chair with a six inch seat lift beautiful looking chair fast great suspension but you only need the seat lift this is a nice one and it's ready to go hi i'm mark and my name is alex we are a family-owned business for over 25 years we have many products available not just what you see in this video if you would like to learn more you can call the number below at 800 Six seven seven six two nine three, or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com.